Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's YouTube video, I'm interviewing Anya, who went from zero to $15,000 a month in just four short months inside of the Consulting Blueprint program. And she decided to be a personal finance coach. So helping people sort of master their finances, get out of debt, you know, reconcile their, you know, their taxes and everything like that. So that they have some more personal peace with their finances, which is really neat. And so in this video, you're gonna learn sort of how she overcame her fear of sales her fear of you know selling people thanks to our sales training inside of our community as well as she solved her marketing problem permanently where now she's consistently getting high quality closable meetings for her offers uh, right off of instagram using our instagram system so this is gonna be a very valuable interview for those of you who are at that beginning level wanting to start your online business don't really have the clarity and want to learn from somebody who's a couple months ahead of you and even if you decide to join our program or not you know, my goal is to make these interviews just so valuable, just directly from the mouths of people that are actually doing it so that you can just create a relationship with our channel that makes you come back for more and wanting to use this free resource, this YouTube channel as a place that you can uh, invest your time into to build your own six or multiple six figure online business. So without further ado, I just want to welcome Anya to the channel. She's done very, very well on our program and I'm excited to feature her in today's student spotlight. All right. Anya, welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah, you uh, you earned it. I mean, you know, you've been a, a star student for a couple months now, really, you know, inspiring a lot of people in the community. I think your story, especially, um, maybe with your permission, we use a little clip from your onboarding call. It's like speaking to a completely different person. You've really yeah, just I know. transformed. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Absolutely. you don't want us to be won't, but you know, it, it, it is pretty incredible just seeing the transformation of your confidence level, where you were and where you are now. So I'd love to just, you know, for you to just open up and share your story, what got you to join, what you've experienced since you've joined, uh, the results that you've gotten, and uh, and we'll kind of go from there. Yeah. So I guess to back up a little bit, before I joined CB, kind of back, if we think June 2022, um, I actually um, felt God calling me to leave my full-time job, um, just to clarify, like, everything we're talking about here in my coaching business, all of this, like, I truly feel like this is God's calling on my life, and I've known that for a long time, and so kind of felt God calling me to leave my job back in June 2022, knowing I needed to build the business, all of that. During that time, kind of spun my wheels for several months, um, trying to build a business, had literally no idea. I have nobody in my family, nobody in my friend group, literally nobody that I knew that had grown a business before. I didn't know what I was doing. So kind of spun my wheels for several months. Um, around December of 2022, I was really looking for um, just somebody to teach me how to do it. I had kind of gotten to a place where it's like, it was never that I thought I knew what I was doing, but I thought I could figure it out on my own. And so I kind of hit that wall in November, December of last year where I was like, okay, I need that wise counsel that the Bible's talking about where like, I just need somebody to show me how to do it. That's done it before and stuff. So kind of started searching, seeking for somebody to kind of teach me how, um, discovered your YouTube channel, then onto Instagram, just kind of sat there for a week or two and then ended up, um, getting to the point where I was like, I'm kind of sick of, sick of this. So got on a call, joined the program. Um, since then things have kind of gone as I expected once I, hired somebody to help me out so um yeah I don't that's kind of where I'm at how I joined the program all of that um I'm helping women gain control of their money and get out of that paycheck paycheck lifestyle it's taken a little bit of, of a process over the last couple months to kind of really pin down who I was helping what I was helping with all of that and so since I've got my messaging in place and just really doing the actions things have taken off so very good that's where I'm at sweet and uh just to clarify are you comfortable sharing numbers about how much you've sold and and all of that you're yeah. cool with that sweet yeah, absolutely i want to tell people where you were at when you first joined and, and how much you're bringing mm -hmm. I, mean, I think last month this month right before we kick off the recording you're kind of in a transition so you're not really yeah. at, in sales right now you're kind of moving the delivery mm -hmm. of it. but right. uh, you wrap last month up at i think it's gonna be a cool thing to hear from you yeah so um i guess backing up before i started before i joined cb i was at literally I think the most I had made from a single client was like $250, um, like a one-time session. I was really making literally no consistent income. Joined CB month two, I think it was. Um, I signed my first three clients. I was at, so that would have been like $4,500 in revenue at that point. I was selling like $1,500 a client at that point. Um, over the last few months since then, it's just been kind of a process. 
um, month six, I guess, was last month, and I wrapped up at fourteen thousand dollars revenue, ten thousand cash collected. So, yeah. that's super good. And how does it how does it feel to be at that stage then? Like, what does it feel like to be having the client relationships, be bringing in the money? Like, how how is it affecting your relationship with your work and and yeah. kind of what does it feel like to have made that progress? Honestly, it feels kind of surreal because like, as I talked about, like, I knew this was God's calling in my life. Like, this is something I've wanted to do for so long. Like, I had such a desire to build this business and like, I felt like it was literally never going to happen. Um, yeah. So honestly, it just feels surreal getting that place where it's like, I'm just really grateful to have this community to serve. Um, I'm not someone that's like, I'm not like the flashy, like I want to make all this money and all of that. Like, I genuinely wanted a community to serve and I didn't know how to get that community to serve. And so the fact that I'm here and I'm like, I have people that are looking at me for help and I'm able to help them and get those results. It's pretty surreal. Very grateful for it. And it, does it feel equally surreal the financial side, of course, but does it feel equally surreal? Like the, the impact you're having on people, I imagine too, of like, wow, they're like actually following your advice and like leading yeah. your leadership. And how does that feel? Honestly, like you hear like experience is the best teacher, all of that, like all of it, before I kind of started, I mean, before the business kind of picked up and stuff like that, it was all kind of theoretical. Like I knew the information and I knew all of that. And like, I knew generally how to teach people and help them. But like, now that I've gotten into it and I'm actually able to help them kind of that like imposter syndrome where I'm like, okay, like, can I help this person getting into it and seeing like, I can actually help them and they're getting the results, um, results beyond what I even thought I was going to be able to deliver to people. It's just been, that side has been surreal too. Just knowing the impact that I'm having things that people are telling me like that they're experiencing like pretty surreal um so yeah that's awesome well cool so i guess let's let's go back to kind of what specifically you felt stuck on maybe it was you don't know what you don't know and you just need the wise counsel like you were saying and mm -hmm. um, that's typically where i get help from it's just kind of like all mm -hmm. right i'm just stuck and i just i don't know, tell me what to do kind of thing yeah um but let's let's kind of contrast like the skills and the perspectives and everything that you kind of had mm -hmm. before and what you felt you were lacking then that prevented you from having the results that you've got now mm -hmm. so that maybe people can you know make their own decision as to whether they want to get our help developing those things or if they want to go out and figure out how to get those things themselves so kind of does that question make sense like what were the skills the yeah. beliefs the the character traits that kind of weren't there the things that weren't there and then what are what is there now that has allowed these results would you say yeah so I was kind of at the place where I didn't know where I, what I didn't know, but at the same time, I kind of knew the area in which I didn't know it. So like marketing and selling, like those were the things like I just didn't know how to do. And so um, I was confident that if I could get in there and help people, like I'd figured that part out, but the actually finding people to help and being able to sell them into a program and things like that, that was what I was struggling with. And I was actually thinking about this the other day, like I come from a place where, like I was talking about, I have nobody in my family that has ever started or owned a business, nobody in my friend group in my circle or anything like that previous to joining CB, but like I had never seen this done before. And so that perception of selling when before I joined was like, and even that's so, still been something I've had to work through is like selling to me seems sleazy. It's like I'm taking something from somebody. And so that shift, like just like the shift, and actually you told me you you talked to me about this a couple months ago, but like you're not taking something from somebody in order to be able to like, help them in order to be able to give them something like you have to sell them into your program. And so switching that mindset from like selling is sleazy and selling is a bad thing to selling is a way you can serve people. And so um, that has been a major shift since joining the program and just, yeah, marketing was something I really struggled with getting my messaging really clear. I was trying really hard to help everyone. I knew that everyone, I mean, I could probably find someone from any group of people that would need my help, but just getting really clear on who I could really speak to and serve and just relate to and those kind of things. And so um, got really clear on my marketing and messaging as well. And just even going back to the sales thing, like the confidence that I needed to be able to even conduct a sales call. Um, I mean, before joining CB, like the few sales calls that I would take would be like, probably, I probably took three sales calls in between when I quit my job. And when I joined CB, it was like very few. And like, I was just in knots, like anxious, like had no idea what I was doing, those kind of things. And so after joining CB, just having the confidence to be able to say like, okay, I have something that you need. And in order for you to get that result, like, this is what I have to offer. And so that shift of just knowing I have something to offer and the conviction behind being able to sell that to somebody has been a drastic change for me. That's awesome. 
Yeah, I mean, when you have when you know that you have something that others need, and whether it's like yourself, you know, you have this idea of financial help, or even you go out and you ideate and and create an offer from scratch in a brand new marketplace, and you're just like, okay, like I noticed this is a gap that people have. This is an outcome people desire. They don't have it for these reasons. Like, then yeah, selling is just basically holding them accountable to the things that they say that they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And and yeah, I do remember that because I remember actually one of your questions. It was like on a it was like a community post that you put into the community or something. You were like, or maybe it was on a group call. I don't remember, but you were like f having this strange kind of inner battle about okay, so I mean, it costs money, but I'm trying to help them with their money. So it's yeah. like, how do I kind of navigate that? And I think a lot of that came down to, well, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, but I think a lot of it potentially came down to just a a broken view of what sales is, or at least maybe. Kind of yeah. a traditional view that's sort of like sleazy, slimy mm -hmm. kind of yeah. thing. But I think I think that was it does sound like that and just a consistent stream of meetings with Instagram, like mm -hmm. and and we're pretty yeah. much there now. Would that yeah be correct? Yeah, absolutely. Like going back to like the worrying about charging broke people, so to speak. Like that was the biggest hurdle I think I had mentally. And it <laughs> it came from like my own internal like battle there but at the same time like I heard that from people that I genuinely respected and cared about they're like how can you charge someone that's broke xyz amount of money and so it's like I had that battle of like how can I help this person and charge something to, that's worth my time and all of that and so um I've actually I mean honestly it's even over the last month like that has shifted where it's like I can now say yes it's very uncomfortable for you to invest this but like you can't make a change without making a sacrifice and I experienced that when joining CB myself it's like I had never made an investment in myself that large and so I was like I but I knew I had to do it and so that mental shift and that what it took in order to make that change was that mental shift and that investment and that sacrifice and so having that shift where I was like okay even if I gave my services for free they're not going to get the results they need to because they've not had that decision they've not made that sacrifice and all of that and so really getting to that place where I'm like I'm actually helping them on this process by forcing them to make that sacrifice and that decision to get there and so um yeah for sure and so like I've I've definitely reconciled a lot with that charging money to broke people it's like they're not going to get the help they need unless I charge them and they get into the program and all of that so yep totally and I found too like I think a part of why I love teaching people how to sell is a lot of the time I'm really just seeing people how to sell themselves because, yeah. you know, like, um, you know, before you sell anybody else, you have to learn how to sell yourself. And if you yourself aren't sold, then somebody will hit you with an objection or a reason why it's not a good time or who knows what, right? And then you don't mm -hmm. have to do with that because you yourself wouldn't be convicted about what you were doing. Um, so a lot mm -hmm. of the time it takes just a total perspective shift. And I think that's probably one of the secret weapons that we deploy for you guys is just the psychology of getting yourself convicted about what it is that you're doing and working you through that process, you know, whether it's tedious over the course of a year, or like in your case, you know, a couple of weeks of just being like, look, like, you know, just doing the math, simple math of like, what would it cost somebody if they don't get this help? Like, you know, what does yeah. it look like six years out if they still haven't made this decision? Um, and especially when you are running, you know, there's, there's new opportunity offers, which is like a new way of doing life, a new way of doing business, new way of running your relationships, new way of running your finances. There's like improvement offers, which are like, hey, you're doing pretty good. But we can get you a little bit better. Like the improvement offers, it's harder to have that like, you know, deep, you got to do this conviction. But with yourself, it really is like helping people step into a new relationship with their finances mm -hmm. and their money. Yeah. And and obviously, you know, even in our program or any program, I think ethically, you know, if somebody pays and then a weekend, they're like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I'm it's like, all right, yeah, fine. It's whatever. Let them go. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and then in that way, you can have that peace in your heart of, well, you, you tried to help them and then they didn't, they weren't willing mm -hmm. to help themselves. Uh, yeah. so yeah, no, it's super cool. I'll, I'll just kind of give you some credit, right? Like we sell a lot of people, you know, a lot of people join the program. Very few people are willing to go through the uncomfortable mental hurdles that you've gone through. A lot of individuals make CB and scaling blueprint and the uh, consulting blueprint, scaling blueprint, these programs that we have very tactical, tangible programs. Whereas in reality, I think most of the work that we do is on the individual, on you and on your belief mm -hmm. system, on the way you view money, sales, marketing, your client relationships, everything that we're talking about. And I think you from a very early point in your relationship with us, 
you know, we have a God given calling to give God, you know, people like yourself, the, the tools to succeed. And then here you have this God given calling to run this. And I think you very early on saw that this is a personal relationship with this work and you're allowing us to speak into you as much mm-hmm. as you allowed us to speak into your business. Not a lot of people do that. They'll pay for the program and then they'll let us speak to their ads or their prospecting mm-hmm. script or, you know, uh, their offer structure and the guarantees on the offer and whatever but then they never let us speak into them and i think it takes a very like a very student humble heart to be willing to lean into that and so i think it's because you have that that you've succeeded so well so what's your plans for the future kind of what do you see this growing into you know like over the next two three years kind of where do you want to take things and uh you know kind of what are you aiming at because you know it's pretty clear what you've achieved now and up to this point it's clear what you've learned and gathered to get there what does the future look like for you and what are your plans instead of CB or maybe even SB? What what do you look to do? Yeah, so I'm currently at, I hit my first $14,000 a month. Last month, I'm looking to hit at least consistent twenty dollars to $30,000 months over the next couple and just making sure I'm iterating on my process and making sure I have a really good product for people. Um, but honestly, the sky's the limit in my mind. That's part of what CB has opened up to me is like numbers that I never even thought were possible before is like, okay, I can actually see that that's achievable. And so at the moment, I'm sticking to consistent uh, twenty to $30,000 a month until, um, honestly, I could easily hit probably $100,000 a month in the next few months. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I agree. I think, I think, I think you play your cards right. It's, I think it's, if you're wanting to get there sustainably, now we could put just rocket fuel behind it and like get you there, yeah. but in a mess. So sustainably, like you can keep it there for a couple of years and put a lot of cash in the bank and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and once you're there, obviously I've got a good tax strategist and all this stuff. But like, yeah, I mean, I think it's like 12 months. I think you're there, to be honest. Yeah. As yeah, stacks mm-hmm. of cash, 20, 30 in the month, 20, 30 in the bank. Uh, and whether you decide to join SB and get my help doing this or, or not, you know, mm-hmm. making that pure move, pure move to group where you're purely group. And then one to one is a bit extra raising your prices from where they are now to hire using the existing students as leverage to do so. Mm-hmm. Placing an appointment setter in the DM, a closer to run your calls for you, get the consistent, you know, churn of business from your Instagram and then placing a head of student success in there. And then just turning yeah. up at, you know, I mean, that's, that's mm-hmm. it. You know? And then you're there. I mean, it's, yeah, I think 12 months if you want to do it sustainably. But it could probably, yeah. you know, it's it's all relative to this, your speed of action, mm-hmm. you know, but I, I've yeah. seen people get there and then they're not there like two months later. And I hate that. Like, mm-hmm. I want to be a, a, a leader that like creates sustainable success. You know, I've seen a lot of people pop up in this space in the online coaching and consulting space. And they're like, oh, check out this client that I got to 500 grand a month. But really what he did was the guy comes in doing 150 and he tells the guy, hey, run your program for half off to your entire email list. And then do 500 next month. And he says, I took him from 100 to 500, but really, no, he didn't. He burned half of his yeah. audience. Listen, it's like, it's not, you know, it's not good. So I'm, I'm about sustainability and real long-term success. And you're, you're setting up a really, really good foundation right now for that. Um, so what would you have to say for the people who are just getting started and want to replicate results like what you're seeing and what you're demonstrating with your business? You know, what advice would you give to your past self or somebody who, kind of they might have a vague idea of what they would help people with but it's not really solidified and they just they know that they could maybe do this maybe they do have that god-given calling on their heart to Mm -hmm. to do business like this what would you say yeah honestly um approach it with humility i mean you know that you don't know what you don't know and so um just approach it with humility look for someone like trey um that's teach that's done this before teaching people how to do it and just honestly um, just really going back to like nothing changes if nothing changes, like you will be in the same exact position you're in a year from now if you don't make those changes that are necessary. And so honestly, just approaching with humility and looking for help from people that have done that before. So um, that's ultimately what pushed me over um, the edge. I don't think I would be where I am right now without getting that help. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I love it and I'm happy for it and I'm, I'm proud of it because it's like it's it really is like. Having worked with as many students as we have, we can kind of see the writing on the wall, sort of connect the dots and see the signs and the stars, whatever you want to say. And we, we know the patterns, you know, of the students that succeed. And we tell people even on our sales calls when we do enroll them and they do pay through and everything, like we're like, look, here's like the attitudes of the people that succeed. And like the people that succeed, like they have no ego. There's no expectations. They're just 
blank slates that we can speak to. Yeah. And, you know, we asked you to do some pretty uncomfortable stuff, you know, we learn to learn how to sell. Mm-hmm. Like that's something, you know, you don't have friends doing that. You don't have family doing that. You don't have anybody in your life doing mm-hmm. that. Here you are, you know, commanding premium prices. And mm-hmm. one of your big objections when you started, which I know a lot of other people, we lose them here where they would say, ah, but I don't, I don't feel ethical or moral or yeah. these big words that feel like they mean a lot, but it's because they're looking at it the wrong way. You know what yeah. I mean? And then and, and we lose them there because they'd be like, oh, I don't want to, you know, mm-hmm. so, but you, you worked through that. And now here you are, not only are you selling it, but your students love working with you and you're building a great thing. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. yeah. Any, any last words, anything for the viewer, anything that comes to mind of, of any sort, otherwise I'll kind of wrap it here. Cause I feel like this, this encapsulates a lot and maybe we'll do an update interview, you know, when you're doing your six figure months. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, I uh, kind of just said it a minute ago is like, just do the work. Um, I mean, a lot of people come into this where they're like, okay, I want to make money really quickly. And I just want to like live the high lifestyle or whatever, but like coming into this knowing, like, to me, this is an impact over income kind of situation. The income will come, but like just knowing that you're here for a purpose and you're, you want to do something that matters. And so, um, the money will come as long as you have the attitude and you're put the work behind it. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. Well, thanks, Anya. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being on the channel. I appreciate it a ton. Yeah.